Hello, my name is Justin and I'm from the Datamail project. Today I'd like to install Datamail. First thing you want to do is actually download Datamail to your desktop computer. So I'm going to go just to the download section of the Datamail support site and uh, download Datamail. There's actually two things we want to download. The first is the, install, is the distribution itself. It's right here. I'm just going to save this to my desktop computer. The second thing is a little helper script called uncompressed underscore data dot CGI. I'm going to do a save link as for this one because I don't want to open up the source code in my browser. I actually want to download the script itself. Great, all set. Now I want to connect to my website through an FTP program. I'm going to use one for called transmit for the Mac. So I'm going to connect to my website and just navigate to the CGI dash bin. Here it is. Okay, so those two files I just downloaded from the support site, I'm going to now upload to my CGI dash bin. First is the distribution. This one will take a couple seconds to upload just because it is a couple megs. Great. The second was that helper script. Great. So now they're both in my CGI dash bin. I'm going to change the permissions of the helper script to 755. You'll see it right there. Great. So now all I have to do is visit that helper script in my web browser. OK, great. The helper script uncompressed the distribution for me changed the permissions on the files that I needed to change, and uh, got the installer ready for me to use. All I have to do now is follow that final link at the bottom to uh, install and configure Datamail. Great. This is the new Datamail installer. All I have to do is fill in a couple um, things in this form and click the Configure Datamail button. The first thing it wants me to do is tell it where the dot data underscore files directory is. Thankfully, there's an auto feature right here, so if I don't know where the best place is, Datamail will uh, just guess for me. For example, it just guessed my home directory, which looks good enough for me. The second thing it wants me to do is set the Datamail URL. This should also be pre-filled for you, and if it looks okay, you can just leave it alone. The third thing it wants me to fill out is the Datamail root password. For this demonstration, I'll use an um, extremely difficult one to guess, just so you get the idea. The last thing it wants me to do is set the Datamail backend. The default backend uses a bunch of different kinds of files and directories to save Datamail's list settings and archives, and also as a subscription list. You also have the option to use a MySQL backend and a PostgreSQL backend. Um, if you do use one of the SQL backends, you will have to make a new uh, SQL database and uh, fill up the, the server database port username and password. Datamail will make the, uh, the correct schema for you. I'm going to stick to a default backend just for this demonstration. I'll look over my information, looks good, and I'll click configure Datamail. Great. All set. Now the installer wants me to just move the, the installer directory around, and I can do that just by clicking this yellow button. Cool. All set. If I want to do any more additional configuration, there is an outside configuration file called .data.config, and it's located at this address. I'm going to leave it to, uh, uh, to be right now, and I'm going to start using .ml. So I'm just going to click this green button. Great and start making my new list. <laughs> so that's a small brief demonstration of the new Dynamail installer. Um, please give it a try and let me know how it works for you. Um, please use the, the support site and give us uh, any feedback you have of the new Dynamail installer. Uh, thanks for watching.